<laughs> they use the death scream for that. Quack? Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. And here we go, an autosave. In here. This is where you get your gold weapons. Af but this only unlocks after you beat the game. Now there is one another place where you can uh, get your gold weapons, but it's... Uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, it, it's later, and it's really hidden. You have to know what you're doing to get there. Here's your stores. Uh... I got some great bargains for you today. We never get to see this guy again. He's he's pretty funny. He has, he says some funny quips. Uh, you can buy ammo. They added a buy ammo a uh, buy only ammo button for Ratchet 3 that just automatically re refills every weapon you have. That's so useful. And here's your second weapon. It's not that good though. Going to be honest, it's not very good. So I might not even get it. I might save so up for the next weapon which we get on the next planet. Uh, this game runs on a sort of, you get one weapon per planet, or at least one one weapon's unlocked per planet, so some of them good, some of them not very good. And that flamethrower is not very good. The gold flamethrower, though, oh, that's, yeah, gold weapons are really overpowered. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. Oh, also, uh, I get to show you off, uh, I get to show something for the achievement whores out there. This is a gold bolt. And there it is. And uh, there are... I think like three per planet. It, it varies per planet. And uh, you actually need these to buy gold weapons. It, uh, each gold weapon costs two to three gold bolts to make. So, uh... Oh, also, while I'm talking about achievements... Uh, this game actually has its built-in built achievement system... If I can find it, where is it? Um. Oh, subtitles. Yeah, that's right. Uh, here we go. Uh, anything else to change? Doesn't look like it. Just sorry about this. I'm actually looking for the. Uh, where the hell is it? Okay, apparently we can't access our uh, achievement menu, but they're called skill points, and. Uh, they are, they literally are just for achievements. They don't really, I don't think they do anything aside from achieve. PS2 was ahead of its time, man. Built-in achievement systems, and this is why I don't like the bomb glove, because I tried to throw it directly at him, and I ended up throwing it that away. Thankfully, if you press, uh, if, even if you have the bomb glove selected, if you press square at any time, you'll automatically swing your wrench, so... And uh, in the later games, you get uh, you don't get a, a wrench upgrade in this game, but in the other games you do, and it just makes it do more damage, stuff like that. But ov overall, the wrench is not very uh, what's the word? Con not convenient. Uh, it's awesome, but impractical, as TV tropes would put it, because everything I have to say has to be a reference or a TV tropes quote. <sighs> My life sucks. <laughs> oh, and uh, you probably have seen it before, but you already have a three-star combo at the beginning. Uh, you cannot upgrade this, unfortunately. So you're stuck with it. Oh, God. We get more uh, movability later, like in the next world, actually. Oh, God, thank God. This game is all about platforming like this and blowing shit up with crazy weapons, because this the series is known for its ridiculous weapons. Dad, blast it! <laughs> ah, look, there's the subtitles. Crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. <laughs> all right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash: giant robots attacking. Uh, seem to be talking a little, a little, little fast and not pausing between each other's sentences. Planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark. Don't you see that? Like, well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. 
The conversation has no pauses in it. It's just one talks to the other. It's really weird. That's your MacGuffin for each level. It's how you unlock the... Shut up. It's how you unlock each new level with the info bots. And you always get one at the end of a planet. And sometimes you even have to pay for it. This game is, uh... The series is not short of, uh... Making you pay to... Pay bolts to advance. Oh, that's fine, because you'll... You should always have enough bolts. Unless you go on a weapon-buying spree. Also, forgot to mention that Ratchet is, uh... Voiced by one of the Ninja Turtles in this game. I'll put the right Ninja Turtle here. But in the sequels, he's voiced by James Arnold Taylor! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Who does he think he is, Mario? Mayday, Mayday! This is the Solar Ship Radical. We seem to be under attack oh, from God. the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Oh. Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Better go rescue him. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates. Yep, I already said that. And now we just go down here. Uh, also, this, as you probably noticed from the beginning, this, uh, I keep saying it a lot. There uh, are multiple paths in each planet. That some optional, uh, some paths are completely optional. Uh, but the optional paths always seem to get you uh, really awesome gadgets, including uh, a gadget way later in the game. If you get, it makes the final boss so much easier. And this is your diving mechanic. What? What the fuck? Okay, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. My, uh, computer just went to a fucking screensaver. I don't know why it's set to go to a screensaver in 20 minutes. Okay, I have to remember to shake the mouse every 20 minutes. Oh, uh, that, that scared me. My uh, screen just blacked out. Uh, that's your diving mechanic for the game. And it sucks, because you have a uh, water bar. You get an upgrade way later, though. And thankfully, they changed it so in every other game after this, there is never a water bar. Ever. Thank God for that. Just another reason why the sequels in this series are always better. Uh, was I talking about anything? I was talking about the diving mechanic. Then my computer died! Uh, I don't think so. Just going through this cave, uh, I believe this is an optional path? Possibly. And more diving. It's a really slow underwater too. What we got an upgrade way later in the game. Which I believe is actually optional to get, but the later games uh, made this canon because you have it in the later games. Yeah, I uh... I guess talk about some memories of this game. The uh, so when I first got a PS2, my my uh, grandmother got it and uh, had a bunch of games from the start. We had uh, what did we have? We had Dark Cloud, which I fucking hate. Dark Cloud. I I cannot stand that game. Um, it I think I think it's one of those cult games, but I just don't like it at all. Um. Jack and Daxter, which you've already seen, assuming you watched this channel, and uh, Ratchet and Clank. No, no, uh, I didn't. I had Dark Cloud, Jack and Daxter, and SSX Tricky, which is a freaking awesome game. I still love that game. Uh, one of the best sport games I've ever played. Um, and it, it still holds up today. Like I played it recently, and it still holds up, which is really awesome. Um, what? Oh, my bad. The uh, gold bolt thing isn't in there. But 
the uh, this that means that right here a teleporter opens up that brings you to the room, the gold bullet room after you beat the game. Sorry, I got my facts mixed up. I haven't played this game in years. Oh, and now we get to go down and look at the scope of this place. Always look behind you for bolts, because you're going to need them to get all the good weapons. So yeah, and then uh, shortly after we got the PS2, uh, went to the store, and uh, they had this uh, Greatest Hits, and it was discounted at like 20 bucks. And I got it, and freaking loved it. And then over the next few years, I gradually collected uh, every game in the series for both Ratchet and Jack. Culminating in uh, Ratchet Deadlocked, which is okay, and Jack X Combat Racing, which is. It's not Jack. <laughs> it's, uh. It doesn't help that Jack 2 and Jack 3 both have racing minigames in them, so I don't know why you needed an entire racing spin off. And it's not a very good spin off, because it just rips off Mario Kart in every way. And also, being a Ratchet Let's Play, uh, I'm going to talk about Jack. <laughs> but that's the same for uh, if I was doing Jack 2 right now. I'd probably be making comparisons to Going Commando, because uh, the Ratchet and Jack series uh, all seem to release at about the same time, because the companies work together, uh, because they're both second party to Sony. So uh, they have like references to each other's games in them and stuff like that. And, uh, overall, like, just fantastic. They're, like, some of the best games. This is a little doohickey that you can unlock later. And this, oh, man. We need the, uh, move fast in water thing, which we don't get till literally the 80% mark of the game. So we're not gonna have that for a long time. And even then, I think it's just a gold bolt in there. Oh, uh, the blue things in the little glass cases you'll see it up ahead are your health, and here's why the game becomes balls hard. You only get four hit points. You can get hit four times, you're dead. You can upgrade this later for an insanely high amount of bolts that is, oh, it's just pissing me off. And I mean way later, like a 60% mark. And even then, you can only upgrade it to eight hits. It doesn't help the fact that bosses in this game are endurance bosses. It's not that it's not that they're that hard. They still are pretty hard. It's the fact that they take. Huh. 